Hi, today on Catherine Learn Stuff, we're going to DIY a simple necklace holder. So let's jump in. So today what we're going to do is we're going to be making a, a necklace holder just to hold some of my kids necklaces because they have too many and they're having troubles keeping them safe. So we're going to make a simple necklace holder for them. So I've got some old um, vinyl tubes, but you can use toilet paper tubes or paper towel or um, aluminum foil. Any sort of hard cardboard tube will work. I'm using permanent vinyl instead of painting because I thought these ones have some nice colors for them so it'll make it look pretty. And then I've got some ribbon to match my vinyls. So what I'm quickly going to do is I'm going to start off with one at a time and it's a pretty simple idea here. Since the vinyl is the exact same size as my tube, I'm actually able to just roll this right on. Now, you want to have enough vinyl that it will cover the tube all the way around and then a little bit extra just so that we don't have any surplus. So I'm quickly going to just cut off at this point here some extra so I don't have, I'm not working with the whole roll of vinyl. Now, since this vinyl was rolled up, it's going to be moving all over on my workspace here. So I'm just going to tape it down a little bit so that it's not so all over the place on me and it will be a little bit easier to work with. So now I'm going to slowly pull off the edge of my vinyl here, my backing paper. And I'm going to line, try to line this up perfectly so that it doesn't tube on and that one is done. Now the lineup does it doesn't line up perfectly here but that's okay. So now I've got one tube done. So now that we've got our two rolls nicely covered, now I've opted to use vinyl to cover these up because I've got a lot of vinyl and I thought these were nice colors. You can just paint them instead. It'll take a little bit longer but it will also have a nice effect. And the next thing that we need to do is we need to put some ribbon through it. So the idea is the ribbon's going to go all the way through and we're going to it's going to be tied up like this so this is going to be hanging like so. So that's a good length that I've got there. And we're going to just tie this up into a knot. Okay. That's one. Now the one thing that I want to make sure is this part here isn't very pretty looking and if I don't actually um, secure this it can sort of start to hang sideways like this. So I'm actually going to hide this knot underneath like so and then I'm actually going to apply some glue inside so that it stays put and it doesn't move around on me so that it'll always be centered like this. So now that my glue gun is hot I'm quickly just going to add a bead of glue in here on this side and on the other side so that it stays put. So I have a few things that I need to finish up on my holders here. I need to make sure that I know where my seam is and that's going to be the back side that I'm going to have. And so I'm going to add in a little loop here at the top so that my necklace holder will always be in the right spot because if I don't have anything here that's stationary, if my necklaces aren't totally evenly distributed on the holder, it's going to sort of slide from side to side and we want to make sure that's always in the center. So I've just cut a piece that's about two inches long and I'm actually going to glue it shut to itself and then I'm actually going to glue it to the 
other ribbon as well so that it stays permanently in the center. So just putting a little bit of glue here on my ribbon. I'm going to close, seal this up. Okay. And now I'm going to add one more dab of glue here. If I can get myself to in order. Okay. And that's done. Now we're going to wait a few moments for that to dry. Now the final touch that we need to do is making sure that we know where our seam is. So my seam is here. You can't really see it. I'm going to put the seam on the back side. And that's the side that's always going to be up against the wall. Now, we know where my one side is, so I'm going to make sure that I'm centered on the opposite side, and I'm going to mark off at the one inch mark, um, one inch off, a little dot, and that's where all of my hooks are going to go. Now, I'm using one inch for now, but later in the future, I'll be able to add in additional marks at the half inch marks or at the one third and two third marks, just so that I've got additional space for um, more necklaces if I need it. Now I've got two different types of hooks. I've got 5 8 inch and half inch hooks. Um, depending on how big you want it or how small you want it, um, you can do different sizes. I think a 5 8 will be good enough. Um, the half inch might actually be too small if they have a little bit thicker necklaces. So I'm gonna go with the half eighth, 5 8 inch and I'm simply going to just screw this in a whole bunch of times on all of my pages. Now since we're gluing in, we're working in cardboard, if you're worried that it's not going to actually stay in very well, you can add just a little dab of glue at the very end to help it stay in place. And we want to make sure that we finish our twist on the facing frontwards. just like that. So I'm going to do the rest of them and then we'll be back in a sec. So one final thing that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to on the back side apply some felt tabs just here on the edges so that I can not scratch up my wall because this, um, the glitter might scratch a little bit over time and even just having it against the wall might scratch it a bit. So I'm just gonna put some felt tabs down and then put it up on my wall. And now it's ready to be put up on the wall. And there you have it. Your simple necklace holder is complete. Hopefully this will help you keep your necklaces organized. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.